Right, so it's time to do our first commentary on the new computer. Hey guys, Harv here, and welcome back to the Permadeath Space Program in the Kerbal Space Program version 0.19.1.54 or something. Yes, we are on the new machine for the first time. Well, I say the first time, the overview was actually recorded on the machine, as you may well have guessed. But it is pretty nice, and the main thing I like about it, aside from... Whoa! Frames per second! Um, aside from that, is that I have two monitors, um, which was going to actually originally be put off a month, but I decided to bring that forwards, and it is so useful. Now, I haven't even had a chance to do what well, I have, but I just haven't. I haven't been bothered enough to import my saves over. I'm not even sure if they're compatible. I don't see why they wouldn't be. But, um, so... Seeing as it's not really about continuity between saves and more about... Uh, I don't kill anyone. You know, I think we're okay just to make a new world. Hey, we can go back to the old one if we want to. Um, but I just want to get recording. And look at this new game. So, the aim of the Ker of the Permadeath Space Program is to never kill a single Kerbal whilst finding Easter eggs. And the way we're going to do that is by using a rover. Which sounds a bit like cheating, but um, we'll make it a bit more interesting, I think. Um... Also, this should be a good opportunity to show off the new features, Rover Wheels. Because we do have two Easter eggs very near the Kerbal Space Center, um, which I'd like to go and visit today. Finding, going to the dirt track is going to be one of the trickiest, mainly because I can't fly a plane safely and land it on the dirt track for sh you all saw the You all saw the challenging YouTubers video, that's just a fact. Right, now what I want to do... I want to make a rover that has some detachable mini bot rovers on it <laughs> because they're so cute. The mini bot rovers are ridiculously cute. Cute. Okay. Uh, let's. What what works with rovers? Um, I can tell you what doesn't work. Being too thin, it needs to be. Excuse me. Exceedingly wide. Um, we'll see what we can do about that. Now on the back. How about I put... Ah, no, because it probably won't be the same altitude. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out how to how to drop these... Ro we can mount them underneath. Mini rovers. Bot rovers. We could mount them on the bottom of it. That might be quite a good idea, actually. Yeah, you know what, we'll go for that. Um, is there anything we can put on the back? Just just a nose cone. <laughs> just Just have this. Yeah, perfect. Those aren't actually the fuel ones, are they? I thought I got structural fuselage. Oh, so I didn't. There we go. Put that on there. And put our nose cone back on. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Um, right. Let us think about getting this thing elevated high off the ground so our rover can just drive away. We can use the new structural panels. That might be a good idea. Take a look at these. I quite like them. You saw my use of them in the overview. Um, if you're paying attention, they are pretty useful. Also, there's a thing for small rovers, which is extremely useful. Um, how are we going to order this? Are we going to use structural fuselage, or should we use some new pieces? Yeah, for the small rovers, you can use these um, as like a body. It's just incredibly good, very useful. Um, actually, you know, oh wow, you know what? You know what we could do? We could do something like this. That would actually work as well. Have, you know, like, contain... Oh, man, yes. Yes, that's what we got to do. So the rovers are going to sit up here and then drive off the back. Oh, brilliant. What's the, um... What's the damage of these... Those plates? Structural panels... Uh, impact on of 80. So they are pretty tough. They, they're going to survive that pretty easily, I reckon. Okay, well... Um, can we get some iron bars? Just these ones, the long ones. And if we put them... You can tell I've been playing around with this a little. I do know the features quite well. Um, if we put them on the sides, like this, not only do we add more texture to our base, but we also put a mount for our rover wheels, which are right here. Um, we actually want to put them like that. Is that level? <clears throat> it is, but they're not particularly far out, are they? No matter, we can fix that. Uh, are there any more beams we can use to 
help us with this. There is this. That works ish. That works. I think that clips inside, but it works. Yeah, okay, we'll use that. Okay. So if we can put that just about there. Nope, that's not working. Just about there. Um, like that, yes. And then we take this. Very good. I think that's pretty wide, isn't it? And there's room for it to go underneath these uh, panels, it seems. If we just copy this over down here. Uh, why are you not working? Work for me. Work it. You go there. Yes, level, maybe. Yeah, that's level, isn't it? There we go. We've got a semblance of um, something pretty damn awesome. Now, I don't know how many security uh, you know, measures I'm going to install into this, because at the end of the day, it's a rover. It's pretty maneuverable and pretty safe. I don't think I'll be able to have an abort sequence, really. I mean, come on, in the car, you don't really have abort sequences. You don't get the James Bond whole eject the seat deal going on. Then again, this is the Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> Eject the seat, does that sound any good? <laughs> yes, I think so. Um, we should probably put some more wheels. Have three. Yes, we will do that. Um, Eject the seat, how am I going to do this? Uh, yeah, that looks good. Just put them like that. That is going to be the most unsafe eject the seat. Where's the sense of mass of the command pod? I should find this out, shouldn't I? Oh, okay, it's very far back. That would be an extremely bad idea. Um, if we just put them... Hang on, two times symmetry. There we go. That is nearer the center of... The center of uh, thingy-majobby. Center of mass. There we go. That's pretty much dead on center of mass. And we'll put a parachute on the top. Um, we'll just put this here. That should work fine. It's, no, it, it, it shouldn't. It defies all laws of being sensible, but still, it, it probably might have a chance of succeeding. Ah, I should be more careful in these, shouldn't I? Okay, can we get another pair of wheels at the front? Because I don't want this tipping forward and just banging on the ground and exploding. I'd rather that didn't happen. Um, can we, perhaps... Yeah, do something like this. See, these beams are just ridiculously useful. Um, something like that, maybe. And then we can just copy that over. Is that the same height? It is as well. It's at the same height. Man, that's pretty good. Um, are these? Is this wheel back enough? I don't know. We can... Oh, we need to move its attachment, don't we? Uh, so all of a sudden that's changed how it wants to attach. Um, hang on. That's level, that's not. No, this level, I swear. I swear that's level, why is it not? Why does it look lower? Well, you know what? We'll just copy this over again. I think the this actual structural bit might have moved. Oh, look at that. It's copied that part, hang on. We don't want them, we just want that. Unless we do want them, in which case, sure, we might be able to do something with that. Put that there, and copy this, and put it as far back here as possible. Um, yes, like this. I don't know. That's actually touching there. No, it's actually slightly not. Is it worth it? The extra millimeter backwards. Seeing as the center of mass is actually rather at the front, I don't think it really is. Um, so we can sort this out again. Uh, that's not my definition of sorting it out. What's going on here? Is that how we want it? Uh, it seems to be at the right height. You know what, we'll leave it. I've done too much work on this stage already. I shouldn't spend too long in editor, but messing with these new parts is amazing. Um, we shall put some struts here and here, just to try and keep things integral a bit more. Keep the t integrity up, you know. Um, it's like keeping morale up, only for space rockets. 
There we go. This isn't even a space rocket, just for rovers. Um, are they scraping on the ground? Yes. Ah, uh, do we want that? Let's do a test. Let's test. Oh, we have no power. Um, we could use like massive arrays of solar panels, but it's much easier to use radioisotope thermoelectric generators. Because, come on. Do you really expect us to actually bother putting that many solar panels on it? Now I've said that, you probably do. <laughs> um, I think it's like two per wheel is more than enough. We can mount them on here, can't we? So as long as we have six. No, as long as we have twelve. That's eight. And we need another four. And we can mount them here. Actually, we can probably mount them all here. That does actually make sense. Um, if there's enough room. That's our 12. Can we move these? Because they're quite prominent. There. And, yep. Yeah. Hard to see what I'm doing with that. There we go. <laughs> okay. Come, come hither. Part. Nope, 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 no. Yes. There we go. <clears throat> I can probably move these as well. Yeah. Just need to, um... Uh, I've knackered that. <laughs> you. This way. Nope, this way. Nope. That's actually not going to work for me, is it? I will not be defeated! Stay. There. Nope, not there. There. Perfect. Right, if you just stay there, that's brilliant. Okay, that's our power sorted out. Let's do a test. We shall call this... Uh, Rover... Rover Carrier. Because, hey, why not? It's a rover, and it carries rovers. Okay? Right? Yes. Launch. I'm not going to test the abort sequence, because I'm too scared of it. I I feel it's just going to dramatically kill us if we even attempt to. And it's far more likely we're never going to have a problem than it is we're actually going to need to use it. Are they on the floor? Oh, I don't think they are. No, especially not when the suspension comes in. Speaking of suspension, that back wheel is actually off the ground. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's just go for it. <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. Yeah, we've got some maneuverability. That is not bad at all. It's pretty stable as well. And look at the frames per second. Look at them. 30 frames per second in atmosphere. On the ground. Driving a car around. <laughs> that rhymes. That didn't. Um, this is the power of the new computer. It's really awesome. Okay. Are those wheels actually being used? I feel like they're not. I feel like we're just scraping these on the ground. I'm not sure I'm ha how happy I am with that. Ooh, we could put the wheels on the back of that, actually. Couldn't we? Okay, we need to come to a full stop. Brakes actually do work for the gears, which is very nice. There we go. We'll end our fight safely, without sneezing to abort. Ah, okay. Um, just get rid of you. And delete all you. Um, I want to... Well, I could use the smaller wheel, rover wheels, but I think they pop easier. How good is that going to be? Because that's a pretty nice design. I quite like that. It's a bit wide, but, you know, that's acceptable. It would point the nose down as well, and it would lift them significantly far off the floor. Um, how about that? Does that work? I think that might. Testing! <laughs> yes, we can do this. It'll work properly. Hopefully. Maybe. Um, here we go. Now, is it actually going to rest on those wheels? Maybe a bit too much. Oh. What? Okay. Now it's lifting the front ones up. This is... Hmm. Oh, those wheels aren't even pointed down towards the ground, are they? Ha. Huh. Well, that can be fixed. Hopefully. Um, can we just... Maybe we can just put these back how they were. Maybe that's a guy there. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. We could use some more beams. We could try and go with that. If we put this here... Um, can we get a good connection? by doing this. 
There we go. It's extended it, surely. Uh, sure, I mean. Okay, right. Um, and if we attach our wheels, which are over here. Yeah, we could be using... Uh, that's the problem, yeah. There we go, that should be the perfect altitude as well. We could we could use the other type of wheels, but I do think they break more easily. Uh, the other type being these. We could like put them on the back of the trailer. Kind of like... I don't know. It's for demonstration, I don't really care how accurate it is. You know, something... Okay, not like that, but you know, something at the back um, to try and lift them up. But I do think they might break. And of course, using these would just be ridiculous. <laughs> I can't let myself into that kind of thinking. No, we're going to test this. And then we're going to build ourselves two rovers to sit on our things. And they will be using the smaller wheels, not the large wheels. Okay, please work. Now again, the center mass is pretty far back for some reason. And they are definitely dragging on the ground. So whatever we did before was actually correct. Now we're just ruining it. Although that's pretty damn fast as well. That is actually a respectable speed. And it is pretty stable. For the interest of just getting this video made... Oh, look at that turning circle as well. Man. That That's not good. We'll put some struts underneath there. Oh wait, I can't end the flight until I actually slow down fully, right? Gotta make sure. How's our power usage, actually? We have got enough power. Our bank of nuclear generators doing that for us. Okay, we'll put some struts underneath there and then we'll add some rovers onto this. I have a feeling this may be another long video, but hey, it's kind of like an apology for not posting or anything in over a week. Um, I had I had life, you know, that thing. Yeah, I don't like it either. Um, you struts, you there. Can we just do that a few times? And on the other side. I wasn't intending to do it this way, but it might work. There we go. Okay. Right. We're going to say that's fine. Um, we're going to save this. And we're going to build ourselves some things. Now, this is possible because we can use stack the couplers and just put them on the top. Um, which way they need to face is a, mi is a mystery to me, but still, it works. Uh, and then, yes, we can also... This also works. I haven't tested this out before, but you know, I'm building it on the spot. That works. Definitely. And then we get our wheels. Now, the state of the wheels, I'm not sure how well they're going to work, but we can find out. Um, yeah, it's not going to let us build like that. Um, how do we sort this? Well, do we want them to drive back on? Because that would actually probably be easier if we just use decouplers. Junior clamps. Is this going to work? Yes, look at that. And then we flip it over like that and then we put that on top that should raise it up high enough for us to do this oh perfect look at that it's like it was intended um okay ah of course we're gonna have to build this um on either side no i'd rather not do that i'd rather put this um what can we do we can use the back as a building space temporarily so if we take this decoupler, you should write these down, people. <laughs> this is a good method for building things. Can we use that as a building space? Uh, maybe. If we just take these off temporarily. Stay over there. I don't want to have to fix you. Just stay. Um, and then we can, like, build... Ah, no, then we can't, like, build because the symmetry goes different. Um... No. Ignore me. We'll go back to doing it the other way. It's probably easier. Okay. Please, these panels got to work. There we go. <clears throat> right, how far back do they need to be? Um, around there? Yes. Maybe. Does that work? Yes. Then let's keep it. Okay. I swear that's further back than it was. It is as well. Move this further forwards. There we go. That's better. Ish. No, okay, further back. <laughs> Just stay about there. Yeah, that should be okay. Right, <clears throat> back to how we were doing things. I, I apologise for the interruption. Um, 
Oh, didn't put symmetry on. Damn it. I don't like that when you if you operate on the one times frame, then it will automatically default back to that. Um even when you're going back to the sides or whatever, which is rather annoying, but oh well. We have our bases, we have our wheels, which are amazing. We're going to use six of these because, hey, it's supposed to be a little rover buggy thing. Um, and we'll have to manually do this on the other side. Um, I don't know exactly where they went, uh, which is not going to be even, is it? Oh, it should be even enough, surely. Maybe. Where is this one? Oh, if we do this, does that work? Yes. Maybe. Oh, come on, it did work. Go on, let it work. Yeah, you, there. Perfect. Maybe. It should be even enough, surely. Yeah? Okay. Um, how about we give ourselves some scientificiness? I like that. I think we all like that. Scientificiness. Um... Negative gravioli detector. We can't go without one of them. Uh, we'll have a thermometer. Uh, like that. And we'll have this thing. I think that's atmospheric pressure, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And we shall have... We need some generators. Two generators should be enough to power them. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We can strap some batteries onto it, if we feel it isn't. Um... Not that they actually pro provide power, they just store it when we're not using it, giving us a bigger capacity. Um, where can we go with these? Does that work? Have it like a tail. We could have it... Oh no, I wanted to have an antenna as a tail. Yeah, I want to have that as an antenna. Um, how about... If we just go... Oh, that was nearly what I wanted. No. Will this work? Is that straight? No, it's curved inwards. Do I care? Not really. Um, I care about getting this symmetrical, though. Seeing that, nah, that's actually going to influence our driving, isn't it? So, uh, we've got to find a method of making it perfectly symmetrical. Will this work? Possibly. That's pretty damn good. Um, you know what? We're going to have it because I think it looks funny. Uh, of course, we need to have our actual pods. Our actual pod. Singular. There we go. Um, and we need to have our antenna. Because, hey, it does nothing, but it looks awesome. And it's a tail. Look at it, it's a little tail. <laughs> it's my own little dog. I have a really bad feeling this is not going to work, but, you know, we'll carry on. Um, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, I missed my time. Where are the lights? I'm looking for lights. There. So we can give it, like, eyes. <laughs> you. You. Go. Forwards. Ah, oh, are you going to be uncooperative with me? I will not take any lips, son. I want you to work. I want you to just face the way you're supposed to face, damn it. Ah. Uh, come on. Yes. Maybe. Just, yeah, keep going like that. That's good. That's, that's not good. Hang on. There. Now, like this. Um, there? Does that work? Maybe. That doesn't. That really doesn't. Um, no, I'm not sure about this. <clears throat> no, I need to have a proper method. I need to have a proper way of putting light on this. Uh, using the bars might help. Those beams that I love all so much. Do do. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Wow, that looks ugly. Um. Oh, stay there. Please don't do anything. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Um. Oh, hello. How did we get that happening? Yeah. If you, if you were to connect back like that, then we could just. No, that's not what I meant at all. I meant we could do that. Yes. There we go. Now it's slipping, but that doesn't look half bad. And if I am right, if this game is clever, we should be able to mount these easily on the front. And in fact, the game is clever. 
ish. <laughs> Go on, mount. Yes. And you over here. Please mount for me. Yes, look at that. That's a proper little buggy now. <clears throat> we have power. We're missing a battery. Let's put some batteries on this. Or put a battery at least. Um, where are the batteries? I think they're in this. Yes. We, ah, there's a new battery. It's got four times the capacity of the other one. Which is nice. Can we stick one of these on the back? Yes. That doesn't look out of place at all. <laughs> I think that's ready. I think that is pretty much ready. Um, now, I'm just hoping we'll be able to decouple and then just drive off this. Realistically, it's going to go terribly wrong, but still. Yeah. Okay. We'll try this. So, save and we'll launch. Please don't explode horribly. Please don't explode horribly. Please don't explode horribly. Please don't explode horribly. Please survive. You will survive the punishment. Oh, very nice. Okay. So we should be able to drive around. Yeah. It's a bit heavier. I can feel it, there's less response. It's definitely heavier. Okay. And now we want to take one of our rover buddies off. We're going to put on the brakes. We're going to decouple node. Oh, yes. Look at that. That is amazing. It's like it was intended for this. And swap to it. And now... We just reverse off slowly. I can't actually do anything. It's not letting me control from here. No. It's no, it's not letting me operate it. What is this nonsense? Come on. I can turn. I just can't move the wheels backwards and forwards. The motors are enabled. We have power. Maybe it's just a bug. If I go to the space center, to the tracking station, and to the probe. I think I've had this bug before, <clears throat> but not in point 19. This should be fixed, squad. What's going on? Please work, please work, please work. Ah, oh, it's going to be so good if it works. No, it's just not working. Well, this works. Is it the brakes? Has it that it's just got brakes on? I actually can't see a reason for this not to work. Oh, there we go. Yes. All right. It's swaying horribly backwards and forwards. But yeah, it's movement. Okay. Now swap to the other craft and put the brakes on. And now we shall reverse backwards. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, amazing. All right. Yeah, I like this. Put on our thing, have our resources, and put on our lights. Yes, we have enough electrical charge, and we are swaying horribly. Okay. <laughs> this is the best thing I've ever made. <laughs> right, can we get back on is the question, because we do have this docking port. Batman batteries, apparently. That's nice. Okay. Can we just get back on this? There's a lack of sound. I think the um, I think the motors should have like a whirring. Can we get on? Oh, nearly. Oh, yep. Yeah. Get on there. Get on. No, no. Okay, that might need some. That particular process might need a bit of work. Have we popped? Yeah, we've popped wheels. Ah, oh, we've popped those middle wheels. Okay, well now we can demonstrate. A sorting out the popping. Um. No, we can't, because I've bricked up the exit. <laughs> and I haven't got any ladder. Well, I'm sorry for that probe, but we're just going to, you know, go on our merry journey. Goodbye. Um, where are we going to go first? We're going to... Hmm. Well, the steering works. And there is a really bad lack of sound. There's no music or anything. It's kind of... It's kind of airy. But oh well. Um... What we're going to do is we're going to go to the first Easter egg, the one that's pretty close. Goodbye, goodbye probe. We'll fix you one day, probably. It's probably more likely that you'll get scrapped because if we launch a plane off this runway, we're going to have to clear it before you get there. But, you know, just hang in there. 
or something. <laughs> I feel really self-conscious now. Let's carry on, let's ignore that. Um, this thing can travel 21.4 meters per second. Um, we are making sure we're not going to kill Jebediah Kerman. Um, we haven't even set up the abort action group, have we? Uh, if we just quickly move the parachute into a different stage there. And here we go, here's the first Easter egg. Not the first one, we've already seen a few on this series, but you know. Brakes, Oh, I hit the sides. No popped wheels, okay, good. Right, this is Command Pod 1. Um, a little backstory for those of you who don't know. This was the texture, obviously not the stone effect, but you know, the, this was what the Command Podule used to look like. There was only one. Did I really say Command Podule? Yeah. The Command Module, this used to look like this. It contained three, our three bravest Kerbals, and um, it was only the size of a Mark 1 pod. Of a single person pod. So yeah, that is that is the little story time for today. Um, they removed it because hey, you can't really fit that many people into one space. Um, display driver stopped responding and has recovered. I just got a crash error, but we're still going. We're still recording, and I've still got audacity. So okay, there might be some discrepancy, but you know we'll see. Uh, take the brakes off, and we're going to use our second buggy um, we're going to go send this to have a look at the new runway and we're going to take a look at the other easter egg in our main rover the couple node swap two and yeah you just wheel yourself backwards good boy and can we open this thank you and turn on our lights and let's go on a mystical journey <laughs> yes we're going to take a look at the new the new uh the new everything. The new the new launch pad, that's the one. The new launch pad over here. What is this? Is this like a cat flap? I would so love if we could drive into the VAB. This is the perfect size as well, look at this. We could we could easily just make this a door and just drive into it. Storage. Like a charger just plugs into the back of this battery. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Off towards um the launch pad. Sorry, the lack of music makes me want to invent my own. So, we haven't killed anyone yet. It is 32 minutes or so through the recording. And we're doing pretty well. It's been a bit slow, I know. I know it's been a bit slow, but I've enjoyed it. So, hopefully that enthusiasm has kind of got across to you. Notice that we still have the swamp in this area. The whole, the texture is too high thing, um, so the wheels get submerged. However, when we hit this bump, we may or may not die. Yep, we died. We lost the front wheels. Can we operate on just the back wheels? Yes! The little probe who can! Maybe. Come on, probe. You can do it. <laughs> We've broken both our probes. Really? Ah, come on. Work. Work, damn you. Well, that's the new that's the new launch pad. And that's the end of our PlayStation 4 show. <laughs> that's the new launch pad. Um, you can see it on your left. And it's rather nice. Let's go back to our rover. Right, now for the good stuff. We're going to have a look at our second Easter egg in one in one mission. We've left scattered pro parts around the entirety of the space center, but that's fine, you know. Um, we've got We've got our command pod over there, and we're going to drive drive to the other one. Now, we can actually go over the runway, can't we? Let's go visit our other probe first. But yeah, the runway has sloped sides, so we can just drive over it. Which is pretty awesome. Pretty damn awesome. Uh, come on. What is our top speed in this? Uh, that's orbital. Yeah, I somehow doubt that surface. 21.8 meters per second. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um... Uh, if we can, I want to get out and fix this. Oh, oh, break, 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 break. That was reckless of me. Is getting out going to be reckless? Well, I won't be able to get back on. So yes, it will be. Uh, but I really want to show the... Fi we'll come back, we'll come back. I promise. After we go look at this Easter egg. Oh, we have popped a tyre. Oh, we popped loads of tyres, actually. Um, 
Well, we want to restart the fight anyway to get those boogies back. Um, but yeah, right. Uh, EVA, you're going to be our repairman for today, Jebediah Kerman. Oh, please fit through the gap. Okay, instead, yeah, just walk that way. Yeah, yep, yeah, and get onto these. See, it's like an escape mechanism. It's, it's, it's the way to get down. So what we can do is right click and just repair. Easy enough. It's really, really simple, but it's quite nice. I quite like it. It's it's pretty good. Um, oh, this means we should be able to get back in. Because if we can just walk up here. Jump. 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 Oh, no, it's rolling away. Oh, no. Let me on. I'm actually pushing it away because I forgot to put the brakes on. No, 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 no. I've had this bomb before. <laughs> stop. I said stop. I'm putting myself under a wheel in the permadeath space program. Let's not do that. Let's repair repair this buggy over here first. Um, and then we'll restart the flight. <laughs> and go and go end off the video because this is a lot longer than I intended. And it's been pretty slow. But we can just walk up to these. Actually, no, we'll go visit in the buggy because the buggy's fun, you know. And we don't want to risk killing Jebediah Kerman. We don't want to risk killing anyone. So repair that wheel. Okay, looks good. Stand stand a safe distance back, Jeb. And, nope, that's the wrong wheels. Nope, there we go. Right, can we get you moving? Please work. Don't you dare hit Jeb. Ooh. <laughs> Just work. Yes, there we go. Thank you, thank you, Jeb. You you stay there, be a good boy. Don't get run over by any planes. Please. Please. Okay. And we're going to promptly die. No, no, we survived that. Wow, okay. Right, let's go have a look at our final Easter egg for this video. We're just doing, you know, Kerbal Space Center operations in this one, as you can tell. It's a bit too late to start doing anything else, really, isn't it? Um, I'm not entirely sure exactly where this is. I just know it's in this kind of area. So if we see any black pixels on the horizon, let me know. <laughs> that's that's if when I start saying things like that, you can tell I'm tired. Because if I actually invite people to let me know something that I'm going to find out in the video anyway, people will type comments saying, I saw a black pixel, I saw a black pixel, I saw one, I saw it, I saw it. Why didn't he see it? He's a he's a blind fool. And yeah, I probably am. <laughs> oh, that's it over there. Maybe. Either it's a speck of dust on my monitor, or I've seen it. I saw it before you did as well, because, you know... I, I'm actually using a different recorder. I'm not using Fraps anymore, because Fraps screwed me over with my new computer. I've bought and I'm using DX Story, and it's brilliant. It's extremely good. What it means is that I can play at 1080p on my massive 22-inch monitors. I can play at 1080p, and I can record at 720. I'm not doing that at the moment, but I do have that option. So, you know, I could have more pixels available to me than I necessarily need to upload. And no, I won't be uploading 1080p videos. I might do one or two, but I have bad bandwidth. And we're not unlimited. We're not on unlimited, so we don't really have the uh, the bandwidth to afford uploading 1080p videos. Ah, look at the moon. We are going to take a buggy like this there. Why am I calling it a buggy? It's a probe. It's actually a rover. Hang on. Room name vessel. Rover. There we go. And the electricity is actually in a bad way, but oh well. Um, yeah, this is a rover, damn it. It's not a probe. But um, yes, we're going to be doing the, the That's No Moon base. I've forgotten how I've tried to pronounce that, but That's No Moon base. We're going to be doing that now that we've got rover wheels, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be so good. And we're coming up to 40 minutes, which is really the maximum I want this video to be. Can I use time acceleration? I can. Is it safe? Probably not. But you can see these these black pixels getting ever, ever larger. No, the pixels aren't getting larger, just the shape is taking up a larger proportion of the screen. <laughs> Got to be correct. Um, and as we get closer, we can see this thing is actually floating. Um, it's a very weird floating monolith. And there are quite a few of these scattered around the solar system. This is by far the easiest one to find. It's literally just over here. <laughs> but, um, yes, it is... We're not going to go too close to it, although we are using a probe, so it doesn't matter if we break this thing. Um, 
although it is quite nice equipment I'd rather rather store. It's a shame I can't get back onto the carrier, the rover carrier. I'd really like to be able to reattach these things. We're going to have to work on that system because that is pretty damn fun. Um, but here we go. Here we go. Squad monolith. Don't you dare hit. Oh, we just missed that, didn't we? <laughs> it's a monolith about squad. What else is, does there need to be? It's just damn awesome. And it's floating as well. We could use the new flats command, the new flats pro part, and go underneath it and see what weird, crazy thing happens. But that'll be in another episode. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. This has been the Permadeath Space Program. It has. That's that's the one. It's been the Permadeath Space Program with our courageous rovers and Jebediah Herman, who's back over there being run over by a plane. And I shall see you all next time. Wait, that was a bit early. I wanted to say, I'm going to do Moonbase soon. Uh, got more videos coming soon. I apologise for the lack of videos. Can we go through this thing? Oh. Ooh, freaky. We have our science instruments here, so, you know, we're protected by science. <laughs> if you liked the video, please do like the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you all next time.